now. Doing after hearing some, um, they saying, all right, they saying we streaming now. They saying we streaming now. Now, after um, after doing some of uh, some small research, right? And actually, actually, it wasn't even me. Uh, Roland Martin had a guy on his show. I'm about to share this video where Homeboy is breaking down. He's breaking down Juneteenth, and he's getting into the history. See, and this is what we got to do because we got to be willing to challenge what we know because it gets uncomfortable, right? Because we say that Juneteenth, these individuals didn't know they was free for two years, but the fact of the matter was, the fact of the matter was that they were not free. The only reason that they would receive their freedom was because the Union Army came in and basically conquered Texas. That and this is what this gentleman's argument is. He's saying that Juneteenth freedom didn't go, didn't happen for everybody. It wasn't until later on, after the Civil War, that total freedom was given because we got to remember, when President Lincoln did the Emancipation Proclamation, there were some states that were allowed to keep their slaves. Why? Because they sided with the Union. So we got the holidays, but now we got to get the rest of the story out because we don't want people to be talking about Juneteenth was the last day that uh, chattel slavery was happening. When we know that it was happening still in this country and it was still legal in this country and it didn't become illegal until after the Civil War. Y'all don't hear me. And I know some of y'all going to be like, but brother, I tell you, what difference does it make? It makes a big difference. Because when you listen to this brother, he brings up the point. It makes a big difference. Because what are we saying to the quarter million of our ancestors that were still enslaved? What are we saying about that? So the date, one of the dates that he threw out was December 6th. So I need to write this down because maybe we need to do another feast on December 6th. Right? But anyway, that's just that's just a thought. Um, and also, um, we have a camping trip coming up. It's gonna be a family-oriented camping trip. Cause like I said, cause what I want to, what I, what I want geometry to kind of get away from, is people feeling that they could just drop their kids on us. <laughs> we want families, right? So we're gonna have a camping trip. I'm gonna come out with some prices. We're gonna do a fundraiser for the camping trip, cause we, we kind of tapped out on this, on this damn. Uh, <laughs> We tapped out. We did it big on the face, but it hurt. It hurt. So we're gonna do some fundraising. We're gonna use, we're gonna um um do some fundraising so we can do this camp. Brother Quasi also um is talking about doing a warrior run, a Giami warrior run. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh we're gonna run for maybe about uh a 5k and then jump in some goddamn um um kayaks or is it kayaks or canoes or yachts or some shit and and it's like it's like a biathlon so and, and it really ain't you know it's just something for us to be in shape get in shape for so we're gonna run right then jump on um um kayaks and, and do some you know what I'm saying? it's gonna be like an adventure type thing so we're gonna you know we're gonna do some we're gonna do some we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to do it we're gonna do it big right and we're gonna, we're gonna do it in Jeremy fashion. But we're gonna have to be doing some fundraising now because you know what I'm saying? We're gonna need we're gonna need the family support. We're gonna need your help, right? So y'all gonna have to get some daily toaster shirts. Y'all gonna have to get some Jeremy Journey shirts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to go on and, 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 and become a supporting a supporting member if you are not a supporting member. 
because we really going to need your system because we got holidays. We got some other holidays coming because we might have to do something on December 6th now. Because I'm sitting up here like, damn, homeboy got a point. Homeboy got a point. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to share that video up. I'm going to let y'all know and keep y'all informed about some of the stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm going to keep y'all informed. And we're going to build, man, family. I'm just so, I am so hyped right now. You just don't understand. I'm hyped right now. Because we, we did it. Successful. Um, and uh, I mean, and I got to see, I mean, you know, the family, the family came out. The family, let's give the family a round of applause. We got to get a family a round of applause. Let's give them a round of applause. Where is it at? Where my applause at? Uh, the applause is still in the house. All right, that's it. Now we streaming on all cylinders. So I'm going to turn off my record and save me some space on my disc. But anyway, we was having problems as far as the stream going out. But right now, we're going to do the toast. And then also, I got a little bit of news I want to share with y'all because it was some very good articles. Believe it or not, we almost started on time this morning. Almost started on time. Just almost. We was... That close. Starting on time. That close. Right? Um, so, um, that close. Now, what happened, I don't know what happened with the signal, but as some of y'all noticed, I had the, uh, the screens up on all of the other channels, inviting people over to gnj.media. I'm going to start doing that a little bit more. Cause I know some people it's hard, so I'm gonna be putting up the links. Cause some of the people, some of our, um, some of our elders are having problems getting over, so I need to make sure that I'm accommodating them, so that they, all they gotta do is click and come on over. Um, and so um, also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put up another video, um, demonstrating how to use um, GNJ Media. It's very simple. It's a lot easier than the other one. You don't even have to sign up. You can even get in and, and do the chat without us even knowing who you are, even though I would prefer to know who we're talking to. Um, but, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Y'all ready for the toast this morning? Y'all ready for the toast? But before we get to that, somebody is paging the hell out of me. Um, Let's see. What's going on on this early morning? Uh, okay, all right, uh, so somebody, somebody else was having an issue with their GPS on Expressway. What? All right, Quasi is up. Um, so I'm going to have to call him and help him out. So Quasi, if you want, I mean, I don't know what you mean about answering some of the questions because it's pretty easy. I, but I, I'm going to call you and check up on you and uh, make sure you get it. So, because one of the things that we that, that we do have with you, I mean, we have an affiliate program where, where a lot of our stuff, um, um, the people that come aboard, especially uh, tribe members, you know what I'm saying, um, you become affiliates. So like I said, somebody kick, click a link and they go to uh, um, Giami Journey and they get something off of Giami Journey through you, guess what? You pay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just 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 that simple. I mean, that's, that's how you build. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole piece is, uh, I keep telling y'all, we have to, we have to, we have to find ways to get people um, working directly for us, working directly for the community. See, because although the 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 the, the broil, the barbecue and broil, the feast went off well, I can only imagine how much better and how much effective it would have been if we would have had one or two people who had been working on it for 24 hours a day, rather than me and the Vita. Um, running around and piecemealing and then Miss Tracy organizing the, the phone conferences and stuff like that 
and we got everybody working not even part time not quarter time you know what i'm saying um everybody working a little piece what would happen if we had a full-time person to make sure that the community events that were going down in our community was happen happening what would happen if we had somebody who was full time looking into the political situation that we got popping off in Columbus and letting us know um, what 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 things are coming up as far as votes and stuff and, and what type of stuff and what type of people we should be supporting and why? You know what I'm saying? What would happen if we had somebody working full time on our social media and getting news out and making sure that there was quality news out? And helping Brother High Tim get shit together so that we can have conversations about stuff. What would happen? What would happen to our community? What would happen to our tribe? What would happen to us in this city? Family, you only take one. I'm just telling y'all right now. Help me get one. And I ain't talk about me. Help me get somebody out here that really represents us, that was willing to fight for us, and let me pay them. A, a, a nice salary, and I know some. Well, what's a nice salary, brother High Tim? What about sixty thousand? You know what I'm saying? Sixty thousand, brother High Tim. You know. Now check this out. I'm gonna be honest with you. We could do that with just a thousand supporters. A thousand supporters at ten dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? That means that individual we will be able to pay at least one individual, and we will possibly we possibly get two. And still have money left over so that we could do stuff like you've seen with the feast. And they said, well, brother, I tell them, what if we can't get a thousand? Well, give me 200. Right? And buy some shirts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 buy some e-books. Let's build. I'm serious. Let me help you build a tribe. Let Giami help you build a tribe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let um, Get Miss Tracy's court. You know what I'm saying? The Vita about to drop something soon. Brother Kwame about to support Giami so Giami can continue supporting the community. Bottom line. You understand what I'm saying? Like and share everything that you see on that you see when we when we streaming and when we doing shit. Like and share. You know what I'm saying? Get on our email list. You know what I'm saying? So that you can have direct access to us because I'm sending out stuff. I send out a I send out an email every morning letting people know when we streaming. And every time we stream, I try to send out an email. And then eventually, as we start getting more stuff and I start getting more time, we can be more creative. I create some more stuff and start sending out to you because those people who have supported us in the past and who are on, on uh, that, that and who directly support, right? Now, the direct supporters get access to everything that we have in our library from the future to now and then some stuff that we can't give away we give you discounts like we helped um, elder green do his thing and he allowed us to give a discount you know what i'm saying so it's like boom the cut that we would get if you was the if you click the Giami journey link the cut that we would get we don't get you get and what that means that means you get the discount off of his piece where he's teaching people how to how to work with their body he's doing the tai chi type stuff you understand what i'm saying and, he, and he's teaching that. But we helped him film that. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Dr. Kelsey stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, we got access to all these elders. We got access to all of this wisdom. We got access to all of this knowledge. I'm just trying to go and, 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 and put it all in one place so that people can get it. Right? That's it. Right? Boom. And we got a, we got something where we could support it and we got the money coming through and we got somebody. We got to get people working full time for all for us. We got to. We got to. You know what I'm saying? Us coming together during Kwanzaa is not enough. Us coming together during Juneteenth is not enough. Us coming together for the Malcolm X Festival is not enough. We need to start developing organizations and individuals within organizations that can speak for us. They ain't got to worry about their job. They ain't got to worry about, about them their job being cut off because they offend their boss. They could get out here and they could do their thing. I'm just saying, we got people in Germany that's willing to do it. That's willing to do it. Right? That's willing to do it. You know, and 60000 is the figure I threw out. We got people that would do it for less. 
But I'm like, no, no, no. You got to have a certain quality. We there's a certain quality of life that you're gonna need. Y'all, we family. I want we want family people at GMA. You know what I'm saying? We want we want we want we want to we want to support families. You know what I'm saying? So whether you male or female, when you come in, you at least need to be able to take care and handle your business, handle your family business. You need to be able to get married, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Can't have no players running around this motherfucker on our paycheck. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that's that's one of the next stuff for me. I'm about to, Gianni, I'm working towards getting a full-time employee so that we could do this shit. Full time. So I ain't got to worry about putting Miss Tracy shit up on Friday and or, or or categorizing the shows. We got people where we could categorize the shows because actually the, uh, the, the full time person wouldn't do that. I'm going to get a, a virtual assistant that's going to go and categorize all of the videos and arrange for when the shows go on and set up the days. So, you know, boom, we could put out a playlist. You know what I'm saying? So that yo, those of you that like old Popeye cartoons and shit that we might be having on GNJ Media illegally. But no, it's public domain. Fuck that. It's public domain. You know what I'm saying? You might want to know when Popeye gonna come on. And we can tell you exactly when you turn into uh tune into GNJ Media, Popeye gonna be on it this time. Of course you gonna have to be on the email list to get that, because that's it's a private site. It's a private. Yes, it's private. Actually, if you're on gnj.media, you're on a private. Well, it's private right now. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's go and let's do this toast. Because I got a little bit of news I want to share with y'all. We got some news that we need to cover. Because I ain't been able to do it. We've been, been rushing and, and, and it's been crazy. It's been crazy around here, right? But like I said, once we get the full-time person. Because I'm telling y'all, you know y'all had a good time. Y'all know y'all had a good time. You know what I'm saying? We had so much food, I had to tell people, look, man, you bet not leave, you bet not leave empty-handed. You bet not leave empty-handed. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. No, no, and we had plenty of people. I'm like, shit, I ain't, I'm, I'm sitting up here, I'm upset, because I've been talking shit about black folks and us eating, and they was, everybody was making sure that everybody had, Everybody got crab late. Everybody that wanted crab got crab, even when they came late. I was like, damn, my people were being gracious. It was beautiful. Shrimp. I'm like, wow. Chicken. Oh, fish. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But the point, the point, the point that I'm saying is this. If we are doing what we're doing, what we got, right? Imagine what gear we gonna take it into when we have full-time people. Y'all ain't hearing me. I want y'all to imagine how good Kwanzaa will be when we have full-time people. <laughs> I want y'all to imagine how June, when we got full-time people. I want you to imagine how election time is going to be when we got somebody that can spend time and have real discussions with us on our shows about the political issues that we really need to focus on and the shit we need to be voting and be able to give us an analysis and have time to go and talk to some of these politicians and find out who is really for us and who is really against us. Do y'all not understand the power in that? Do you not understand? Do you not understand the necessity of that? Every other group got it. I, well, hell with that. I don't even know whether they got it or not. I know we need it. I know we need it. I don't give a damn whether anybody else got it or not. I know it's something that we need. And I know it's something that we deserve. And it's something that I'm going to work towards getting. And, I ain't, and once again, let me be clear, I ain't talk about me because I'm straight right now. I'm straight right now because I'm going to be able to benefit regardless because I know how to do it. But it's time for us to take Giame from just being able to stand on the sidelines to being in the goddamn game because we already showed we could win. We didn't show we could win part time. Partial time. 
Everything we said we going to do, we have done. Everything we said we going to do, we have done. With no money and a few supporters. So what happens when we as a community start pushing and when we as a tribe really take it to the take it to the next level? When we start when we decide we're gonna shift, we shift in gears. We gonna we gonna we going from the low gear to the high gear and we're gonna push the gas. What's gonna happen then? Tell you what's gonna happen. We're gonna shut down the goddamn city. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take over this motherfucker. Stop being scared. Stop being scared. Just a few, just a few, like I said. And you know, and I'm saying a thousand supporters, because I know we got a thousand people. I, we got at least a thousand people. I done helped a thousand people in this motherfucker myself. I know we could do it. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do a drive, right? Because I know, because I know with with a thousand listen, with a thousand people, with a thousand people at ten dollars a month, we're gonna change this whole we're gonna change the landscape of this whole city. Just letting y'all know. All right, it's time for us to do the toast, time for us to do the toast, because I wanna do the news, then I gotta get out of here. I got my car got issues. Yep, my car got issues. So you know, on uh, uh, going out to get y'all food, <laughs> on near. So I'm, I'm cracking jokes, right? So we go out to Walmart on 256. We come down 256. Um, we come off. We come down 256 to uh, Main Street. We get off at Main Street, and rather than I take the little back way, it's a little back way. That takes you to the main street, and it's like I guess it's Reynoldsburg, and it is it look you know like a um, old old white town. So you know, so I pull out, and I can't make a left hand turn. I got to make a right hand turn. So I'm making jokes. Oh shit, we in white town. We in white town. Blah blah blah. We riding. You know, me and the Vita crack it because we in white town. So I turn down an alley in white town. I go down the alley and we sit up here laughing. Oh, man, we going in the alley in white town. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Anything's about to happen. Oh, Lord. It looked like they all oh, we in danger. Right? White town. And I hit a pothole and the shit tore the whole bottom off my truck. <laughs> So I'm driving. So I've been driving this whole weekend and my shit been scraping. I'm like, my car been riding smooth all this time. And I pull up to Juneteenth like this. I'm like, oh, damn. I go to my, my sister had a little event, you know. So I, I, I try to sneak in quietly. But I got to leave because I fell asleep there, you know. Because, you know, like I said, we was up late on, on Juneteenth. And so my sister had her thing, so I went over and we did a little clean up over at Navita's, uh, over at the spot, and and then I went straight to my sister's thing because they had the 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 bounce house. My daughters want to do the bounce house. Cleve was ready to go home, you know what I'm saying? Cleve like he was tired, you know. I done found out that Cleve was kicking it a little bit too hard on the grown up side. Yeah, Keisha, I I yeah, yeah. I, yeah, Keisha, I, I found out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I'll talk to you later, young lady. My fault. i talk to you later, old lady, your old ass. But anyway, uh, so I, I got to leave the park. And as I'm leaving the park, <laughs> you know, ain't nothing wrong. It's just, it's just the plastic part up under the car. It got broke. So, so I, you know, and my, my shop is not open. And I wouldn't have been able to take to this shop anyway because we, you know, we got June, this Juneteenth weekend, all right? So, so you know, my sister called me and, you know, she like, people talk about your car. Something wrong with your car. It's something under your car. <laughs> I say, I know. I know. It's cool. It's cool. I'm going to take care of it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, and by the way, who in here watching this? Who, who in here? Who in here with us right now? You know what I'm saying? Go and tell your friends over on Facebook that they need to come on over. Come on, stop playing. Stop playing with us. We ain't playing. Stop playing with us. 
We not playing. Stop playing with us, right? And those of you out there that's going to help us, because I'm telling y'all, we're going to move it. We're going to move it from the small numbers. We're about to move into some major, major numbers. We got some stuff that's going to be coming out, family. We're going to have our own. We have our own little brand of uh, healthcare stuff, and especially we're gonna start with the CMOS. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody talking about the CMOS, so we're gonna we're gonna get into the CMOS business. We're gonna provide the family with CMOS. You know what I'm saying? It's going because the one now now people are like well why are you doing CMOS? A lot of people doing CMOS. I'm doing CMOS because it's one of the few things where we can go on and almost we can almost trace it back, right to where it's totally black. You know what I'm saying? The people that, that harvest it and control that little space where they're doing it, they're black, they harvest it, they dry it out, and they ship it straight to us. So I can guarantee that from from the rooter to the tutor, you know what I'm saying, that is black finance. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that we got black producers, we got black sellers, and we are providing a product. You know what I'm saying? For black people, anybody can buy it. But we're buying a product that's not only supporting us here, but it's also going to be supporting part of our family. Um, I think it's in St. Lucia. So then, you know, like I said, once we get that going, another aspect, another goal for me personally, another goal for me personally is once again to, to, to hit Ghana and go to Ghana and find a, a, a unique product that is produced by us for us and bring and make it possible for us to have access of, for, uh, to it over here. Whether it's a healthcare, I, I, I will prefer a healthcare product or something like that that we could get exclusively. But you know, I'm looking for, I, I'm looking right now. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, you know, and some of y'all might have ideas already and some of y'all might already have some of those connections. So let's, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. But here we go. So here we go. First off, family, we're going to lift up our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass, we salute that creator, and we say the word of power around these parts. Now, I don't know what your word of power is at home, but whatever it is, you can keep it and use it. Because we're going to lift it up because the idea is the same. The creator is the same. Right? The idea, the idea. We lifting up our glass. We saluting the creator. Even though we know the creator is already here, is already present. We know the creator is moving through us and is moving through all the things around us. And, and the creator's touch made it possible for all this stuff to be possible and all of it to be in place for us. We lift up our glass. We salute that creator and we say the word of power. And that word of power today is Ashe. <laughs> Thank you, Anime. Thank you. Appreciate you. Anime said, I need to remind y'all, y'all are now sitting in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle, hold on, where your hustle builds muscle. This is, ha ha, Giami Journey Media. <laughs> I am your host, Brother Hot Tim, and of course, you know this is the Daily Toast. It's a moja today and we want to give all of our mojo babies a round of applause of course you know this is the heart of a similar production all day air day we strive 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 to blow up your old paradigms all right from there family we're gonna move to our list of our ancestors we're lifting up our ancestors we're saluting them we're toasting them lifting it up Say, oh no, we don't say how they do we? We say their names. <laughs> All right, for anybody that's new, um, with the process every day, we toast our ancestors here. So if you have ancestors that you want to add to the list, by all means, you can post them up on the timeline. You can hit us up at any of our social medias. You can inbox us any of our social media platforms that we have and let us know. I know this man got to know I'm on my show. I know you got to know I'm on my show. You got to know I'm on my show. All right. Peace. Uh, but uh, I can't remember what it, where I was. We're we going to move on with the toast. You ready? Um, 
Miles Brown, Ms. Zan, Robin, the Texan, David Sermon, Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, George, and William Walter, Chris, Fanny, Gaston, Eileen, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, of our Brown, Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown, the second, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis, Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamal Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Falar, Montague, Pittman, and No More, Exit, Pat, Mont, Rob Malik, Ford, Dr. Mayer, and Williams, Coach of Kamal, and the farm, Adam Millie Dixon, the Clark Pest. Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf, Weston Elder, Ajani Elder, Ron Cole, Mayor, Robert Donaldson, Apple Pro 4, Actor Junior, J. Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Ines Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Foley and Alexa, Brother, Miss Eda Brooks, Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley, Senior, Miss Jerry Brunson, Miss Alonzo Johnson, Miss Rima Dow, Jen Foster, Charles. Jennifer Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Fred Tritt, Francis Johnson, Mike Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, Joe Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Ines McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renham, and Virginia. Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Rain Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kelly D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mitchell Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Libby the Farmer, I go so Sue Shell, Harvey Ann Charmaine, Aunt Emily Theodore Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Barry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Edgar Trish Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther. Keach Larice, Linda Watson, Hammonds, Gerald Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven, Lewis, Andrew Hone, Chris Moore, Mildred Owen, Book T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover here, the Pierce, Serge Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, and Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Chelsea Thornton, Frankie Quells, Rain and Thornton, Bernie Squills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, James W. Watson, James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Haley Lebester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Paul Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Kelly, Rosemary Martinier, Down Tep Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs, the second Beanie Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson, Richard Ellis, Alice Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, Whitney Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carlos Sawyer, and Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Demico Russ, Diddy Monet, Gina Jones, Jaina, Callahan, we have William Walter West, Nigel Paris, Elder Pasichi Polani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Lee Waters, Dupree Hines, Honest Bostick, Edna Bostick, Winifrey Scannerby, Wilson Helly, Emma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee, Print Up Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Ida Catney, Janice Carter, Mark Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Mark Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nelan Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dean. Um, Dana Jones, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Henry World, Jane Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Henry Vest, Mary Morland, Paul Morland, Elder Caleb, Brooks, Mary Martineer, Ed Armitel, Wilmer, Fred Douglas Triggs, the second being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Salas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, Wim Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Ben Porter, Diggle Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Demigra Russ, Dini Mane, Gina Ruth Jones, Jane. Y'all see what just happened? Did y'all see that? Unbelievable. I got to go and take some of these doubles off. It's doubles on this list. It's like doing double judge, double dutch. I, all right, so we, uh, I'm going to say we made it. Let's go. Friends, Booth Jefferson, Dan Wilkerson, Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Gray G. G Greg G2 Gibson, Don Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy, Irby, Jim Goshe, George and Hattie Johnson, Archie Morgan Armstead, Don Scott, Eric Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, uh, Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eulon Andrew Baker, Patricia Neville Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Gwendolyn and Bob, Bob, Bob Hatch, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, that's in this timeline here. Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimber Vernon, Bradley Kim, Harry Tubman Case, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Annie Little Baby Hatch, at Senior, Mally Miller, Housing Hatch, that Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Nike Nixon, John Bowie, Lester, Richard Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Nidhi Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, out of Casey, Thomas Cooper, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornette, Alignment Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary France, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joan Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha, so Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Mark Town, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. He's Syrups, Leroy Q. Heaps, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Alice Motley, yeah, I'll some.
Lure Key, you've seen Amber Moore, Miss Vanilla, Alex Molly, Joe Dean, Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Urchin, Houston, Lud, Alls, Elijah Aldrome, Alls, and West Staten, Joe Jamel, Alls, and Pierce, Don Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Raymond Lowe, Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Bob and Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brandy Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Captain Sanders, Miro Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henry Ed Irby, Milton Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Captain Anthony, Ruth Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Harmon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Lozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robert Lee Carwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javier McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Edward Benson Sr.? No, it's Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Louis Fernandez, Jack Nabrodas, Reginald Ivory, Mazarin Colford, George Swan, Lemonade Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Evans McNabb, Andy Ferguson, William Ferguson, and Shelby McClendon. All right, we have Joyla Giles, James Carswell. We got Laverta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis. We got Elder Shaka McNair. We got Anthony Brown. We got Lottie. Gaucher, we got Coach and Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Bar Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Top, with Stephen Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy Mama, Aunt Lady Abraham Isaac Cundiff, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross Riggins, Jermonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Egg Walker, Quay, Semple, Cannon Simmons, Seven Clay, Leonard Jones, Sidney Garner, Mel Scott Sr., Got Elder Clarence Lunk, Elizabeth Johnson, Mr. Thorne, Johanna, just signed Lynette Lewis, and Mr. Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry as second, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walter, now T. Sue Walter, Emma Walter, James Randolph, John, Sonny, Pete Walton, Winnie Walton, Fred Powers, Elijah Juan, Hakeem, and Como, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey, Victor Bowden, Jacinda Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton, Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Joseph Carl White, Desi Woods, Tillard Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Mitchell Dorsey, Andy Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, A. Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins, Edward, Sh Edward Webster, Alice Webster, Ivy Webster, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMond, Ethel Marshall. We got Steve Dougie Shelton. We got William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Gray, got Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr., Gisela Murrow, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Murrow, Sylvester Foster. Got James Lizzie Winston, Aben Julia Lawrence, Ozell Lellis Sr., Gladys Cooper, Ozell Lellis Jr., Geneva Jackson, RJ Lacey, also known as Tutor Don, Sarah Winston, Chris Kenny, Margaret Minter, Mary Smith, one at Florence Stith Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Jenny Callahan. Got Danny Hill, Miko D. Nassi, Andre Martin. Got Mabel Williams, Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle, LeBron Kincaid. Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter, Craig Lee Jones, Granny Bueller, Al Riesland, Inez Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Garrett, LaShonda Jamal, Leroy Raleigh, Mona Yolanda Hunter, Yvonne Patrice Turner, Herman Reeves, Monda Reeves, Josh Reeves, Lena Kate, Pam Johnson, Vera and Reed Fisher, Jasta, um, Jay Jasta McCallop, also known as my moon. We got Sheila Ann Lee, which is John Calhoun. Um, Mom, shout out to John. Sheila Ann Lee, we got Penn Cheetah Alba, Donald Brooks, Barbara Moses, out of Spade, Ira Branson, Eric Winston, Darren Bridges, Francisco Matisse, also known as Sonny. Got Charles Stevenson Jr., King Pleasant, Sarah Keith, Lena Shepard, Burdell Woodland, Mabel Haskins, Wilbur Shepard, Dennis Jackson. We got William Haskins, Geraldine Jackson, Henry Jackson, Edward, Edward Jones, Leslie Trevor, Charlize Barnes, Dewan Lewis Taylor, Madeline Yates, June Dandridge, Daisy Woolfolk, Frederick Smith, James and Amanda Baldwin, Linda. Um, Linda A. Williams, no, Linda Williams, I said Linda A. Linda Williams, Sally Williams, Vivian Stevenson, Irene Harris, Kelly um, Williams, Abu Scales, Pat Williams, and, and Mrs. Bertha Walker. We got Tony Ogletree, we got Grandma Marguerite. And, um, hold on. Grandma Marguerite, Tracy Emery, Hassan Abdul Razak, Vivian Johnson, B.J. Jones, Avishel Robledo, Monterosa, Chet Word, Mama Rahani, Devre, Michelle Nash. Family, we have done it again. We lift up our glass and we salute each and every last one of our ancestors. And with that, we say Ashe. <laughs>
we shouldn't be. Uh, oh. Oh, excuse me. From there, family, we move into the present moment. We lift it up. We toasted our ancestors. Now it's time for us to move to the present moment. Family, I ask you to get your mind focused into this moment. I want to give all those Emoja Born babies a round of applause. Shout out. Emoja Born, today is your day. We are on Emoja. As I ask you every day, I ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out your principal on a daily basis. Seek them out. Your principles are out there, family. We got to find them. We got to start looking for our principles because we need them. You know what I'm saying? We need them, especially now. Um, for those that don't speak the language, emoja means unity. Um, truth is the uh, modic principle today. Violet is the color, as you can see by the shirt, right? Got that violet on. Mentalism is the hermetic law. I'm going to show you how to find the shirts today. Um, male name is Kojo, female name is Ajua. Shots out, shots out. So we lift up our glass, we salute this moment, we salute the power in this moment, we take responsibility for this moment so we can move the ball forward. We lift up our glass, we salute, and we say, Oh, hey. family. The person told us we move, not the person told us from. The toast in the moment. We move to the future generations. We toast our future. We toast our futures, our children's children, our children's children, children on to infinity. We lift up the glass, we salute, and we say, I say. Jump right into all of our relations. Family, we lift up our glass, we salute all of our relations, all of them out there, we say, I say. Raise our glass. Yes, we are. And we're going to salute. And we're going to send out that special libation for all those that might be in need. The energy is here. It's brewing. I can feel it. I'm lifting up my glass for you. Sending that energy out. Everybody else around us is sending that energy out. And we say, I say, that spiritual currency. Near family. To that selfish toast. This is for you. What is it that you need in this moment to move into your greatness? We lift up our glass. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. I say. I'm going to lift up our tribe. My tribe is Giammi. Say your tribe out loud. If you don't have a tribe, baby, you need to get one. If you ain't got, if you don't know where to look, we can help you build one. But you come join Giammi. We still, we still ain't made our threshold yet, right? Because there's a hundred... 149, I think it's like 149 person limit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're lifting up our glass. We salute. We salute your tribe. Go ahead. Say it. Mine's Yami. What's yours? Ashe. We toast. And last but not least, I'm going to toast the most magnificent, most beautiful, most uplifting, wise, and so the in the room. I'm lifting up my glass to you. I toast you. And we say, Ashe. 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 Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Let me get this. Mm. Ooh, nice. Oh, but nice. Um, So, give me a couple seconds to get set up because I need to go and wipe some of the sleep up off of me real quick. Um, Give me a couple of seconds and... We'll get started, all right? Get, 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 get. Brown been singing 20 years. I don't know what the fuck James is talking about. Get, and whatever get, James is saying is some real heavy shit. Get, he meant get, that shit he just said, boy.
your heavy shit. He meant that shit that he just said, boy. Family, 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 let's get it. That was uh, Black Jelly Beans. I can't remember what song it is, but that's uh, Eddie Baird is on that album. And uh, DJ, DJ O Sharp, right? I'm old, I'm moving slow. But anyway, uh, let's go and check out the screen. I want to get out of here real quick because we got to go on and I gotta uh, share. I mean, I gotta share my screen. But uh, you know, I gotta go. I'm gonna get my car fixed. I gotta get my car up to the shop. But anyway, family, y'all know we up. You know, we y'all know we up. You know, I, I've been I've been working on. I ain't been doing a lot of stuff uh, as far as some of the other streaming stuff that I usually be doing. Um, but you know, um, you know, I've been making these little flyers, you know. Hey, I, I, you know, I, I'm getting pretty good. As y'all can see, you know, we got a new, us a new little star screen. Y'all see, we, you know, we got got some of the tribe up right here taking pictures. Some of the young, some of the old. You know what I'm saying? You know, next generation, they going, you know, they got big foot, big boots to feel. They got some big boots to feel, but it's cool. It's cool. All right, uh, Jenny, remember we only stream on. HTTPS. You don't need all you gotta do is click it. And then watch. Watch what happened when you click it. Boom. Take you right over. What? Take you right here. All you gotta do is click it. <gasps> Look at that. Gee, yo, whoa. And all you gotta do is click play. You don't have to even be a member. But if you go down, there you go. You could go and put your email address, click follow. And it will take you directly to G and J, you know what I'm saying? So that you get you get your daily emails from us. Letting you know when we streaming. Letting you know what's going on. As we start to build, we taking it to the next level here, family. Now, check this out. So we still got the vendors list. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all remember this from Kwanzaa. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as y'all see with some of the commercials, we, we, we done kept our word. We done been having people being able to do their stuff for over a year. We still got the vendors list. You going up there, you can check that out. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to, I got, we got to update the, we got to update the magazine. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go on. You, you got a business you want to advertise, you want us to put it in there. You need to get with us so we can do it. Um, Kwanzaa 365. This is, this is offline because this was um tuned into the old, um, the old thing that we had, but you know we gonna work something out. So I mean, I don't know if we gonna be streaming like that next year because that was hard. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I had to. We had the, the the site that was a little bit different, but more complicated. But let's say you wanna go and you wanna check out the shop. You want you want we celebrate Kwanzaa all year round here, Kwanzaa 365 G and J. Me, you want your daily toaster shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's male and that's female. 
this is long sleeve, then you could just click show more. And you go down through and you can see all the stuff. We got hoodies for kids. We got long sleeve and short sleeve. We got stuff for babies. Look at the day. Look, look at the daily. Look at the daily toaster thing. You know, well, no newborn stuff. We just got got it for six month olds. Let's see what it look like in pink, cause I might need to order one of these. Cause I seen a little baby. At the, you know, we got a little baby up in Giami. You know, we gone and yeah, I like that. Yeah, we might have a little. Uh, we might got a little commercial coming with a little baby with a daily toaster stuff on. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think her name is Miss Zumi. I think she might, you know, I might need to find what day she was born on. Let's see it's that, how the yellow look. Should I get her a pink one? A yellow one? Or should I get her that nice, what's that, like a teal? Look at that. I don't know. I don't know. Should I just keep it basic and go to black? Ah, uh, nah. You know, we, we don't, nah, we... Let's see what day she was born on. Let's see what day was she was born on. Look at that. But like you say, you want the original. Brother Hatim, I just want the original Daily Toaster shirt. So that means you got to come on down. Got to go deep, deep down into it. Now here's the ladies. Because, you know, you got the pink one too. But you got to go deep down. These the long sleeve one. And here's the original. It's deep down in there. You got, I got it all the way down here because you got to search. Because we got a whole bunch of stuff. But it's right here. Got all the colors for the days of the week. Right? There you go right there. We got it all the way up to 3XL. From small to 3XL. No 4XLs. No 5XLs. No 6XLs. Right? You know, got the Kwanzaa. You got to get those in the color you want. We got the male and the female. We got the long sleeve. We got the short sleeve. Right? So this this is pretty big for a baby. Here it is. They got six months, 12 months, eight, no, 18 months. Better not be wearing. No, you can't. Yeah, you need to be out them diapers by 18 months. Original Daily Toast Design Throw Pillow. Oh, we out of stock of that. Fancy hats. But that's a nice little coffee. Original Daily Toast Design Camper Mug. Hmm. You know... I mean, oh, we got more stuff? The hell? Just got a book bag? That's a nice little skull cap there. What? Got business shirts. Man, family, that's what I'm saying. You know, I, damn, look at that. I didn't know we had that. Canvas backpack. Mm. I was just about to go buy a backpack. Look at that. Oh, shit. I ain't, I ain't got to go nowhere. I think I might, I'm about to get that shit. All right, we about to get that. You know, I just, I got to let some of this stuff clear. I got to let some of this stuff clear up. Oh, I, um, you know, because you know that, you know, that celebration. Kind of, whoa, look at that one there. Computer backpack. Ooh, ooh, let me look at that. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, what y'all think? I'm getting this shit. I'm about to get that shit. Hold on. Backpack. I'm going to need some new shirts anyway. Uh-huh. I get it in blue. Ooh. Or red. Ooh. Oh, shit. Uh oh, that blue look. Oh, that blue look. Oh. All right, uh, I'm sorry. I was wanting to share some news with y'all. I didn't mean to get caught up in my own hype and shit. I got caught up. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Let me put on my apology camera. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get caught up in my own hype. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'll behave. I promise. I'll behave. I'll behave. All right. Let's go. News, in the news, in the news, in the news. Nice picture, though. That's a nice travel picture there, yeah, yeah. Um, Sounds like dope game, but I have been wrong before. I started a side hustle with a, Craig, with a Craigslist ad and 250. Now it makes six figures. I just wanted to share this and just show y'all 
There's some other ways out here that we could be, you know, we could be getting it. Instead of going to some of these offices and, and selling our time cheap. Some of y'all cheap. We selling our time cheap. I started a side hustle. My best advice is to embrace change, welcome new ideas, and always continue to experiment. When I started my business, Bride Maids for Hire, she started Bride Maids for Hire. Just for women that don't have friends, obviously. <laughs> First people thought it was a joke. I remember friends asking me what I was thinking, and strangers emailing me wondering if this was a prank, all a prank. It was decidedly not. By 2014, I had been a bridesmaid for my friends almost a dozen times, and a few things have become clear to me. Being a bridesmaid can feel like a job. Not everyone has a close group of friends to take on that role, and there wasn't any vendors in the wedding industry whose job it was to support the bride and a bridal party in an emotional, personal way. So she set out and started a business. Bride maids for hire. Uh, if they could do a bride maids for hire, family. I, well, I, I can't say. I, I'm i just, let me shut up. Bride maids for, I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. Let's look at this one here. The economy isn't going back to February 2020. The fundamental shifts have occurred. Now, we've been saying this. Things are going to be different. Now suck it up. A new era has arrived. Oh, they trying to get me with that $40 for your first year. What is this? Already, man, y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all playing with me, right? They playing with me. Uh, let me see. Oh, shit. Y'all gonna show all my shit up on... They receive oh approved the novation. Oh God. Let's see. Amazon, y'all just gonna expose all my shit like that. Is that how we doing it now? Amazon? Is that how we doing it? Yeah. So I'm approved. Now let me in let me into my goddamn article. Just want to see the article. Of course, we signed up on the Giame. This a new era has arrived of greater work power, higher housing costs, a different way of doing business. The U.S. economy is emerging from the coronavirus pandemic with a considerable speed, but markedly transformed. As business and consumers struggle to adapt to a new landscape with higher prices, fewer workers, new innovations, and a range of inconveniences. In late February 2020, the unemployment rate was 3.5%. Inflation was tame, wages were rising, and American companies were attempting to recover from a multi-year trade war. The pandemic disrupted everything, damaging some parts of the economy much more than others. But the mass vaccination effort and the virus steady retreat this year has allowed many businesses and communities to reopen. What Americans are encountering, though, is almost unrecognizable from just 16 months ago, prices are up. It takes months longer than a normal to get furniture. Now, I'm a witness to that shit. Appliance and numerous parts delivered. And there's a great dislocation between millions of unemployed workers and millions of vacant jobs. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome H. Powell acknowledged all the uncertainty this week, saying that the policymakers has, have misjudged parts of the recovery and that they aren't certain what exactly will happen next. Of course they don't know what's going to happen next because we never been through this shit. Damn. I mean, don't take a G. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm paying, watch the post, I'm paying you for you to tell me some shit that I, I already know. This is extraordinary. And y'all exposed all my Amazon shit on, online. This is extraordinary. Extraordinarily unusual time. And we really don't have a template or any experience of a situation like this, Powell said Wednesday. We have to humble. We have to be humble about our ability to understand the data. So they don't know what's going on. Y'all go and read the rest of that. Basically what they say they don't know what's going on. I be reading these articles. See, I gave up alone. I gave up. 
in, in my 40s. You know, I would read articles and I would read books expecting answers. But I would often walk away with more questions. So I just stopped looking for answers from these motherfuckers. I understand the book writing game right now. You write books to cause people to ask more questions <clears throat> that drive them to you to make them have to write another book to answer more questions. To ask more questions to get them to ask more questions. Demographics are destiny in a housing market. Y'all can check that one out. Um, Jay-Z, what's your thoughts? Jay-Z sues for photographer Jonathan Mannion over likeness uses. Likeness use. Now, I want y'all to be clear about this. I want to be clear about this, right? Y'all need to check this out. Because Jay-Z is trying to take control of his total image. You know, as a matter of fact, Giami Journey got dinged yesterday. Um, no, not yesterday. We got dinged. Well, it was early on Imani Morning um, by Universal Music or somehow. But the song that they dinged it for was Girls, Jay-Z song. So, you know, um, Jay-Z don't want anything with his likeness or anything with his music flowing without him getting paid. And in some ways, I understand that. But, you know, uh, I did be, you know, like I said, sometimes this should go a little bit too far because there was no money being made off the fact that Girls, Girls, Girls was playing at a goddamn cookout. You know what I'm saying? Why block it? Can never be played again. I got my own platform, bitches. <laughs> I got my own platform. I don't know who y'all think y'all talking to. But anyway, I'm just saying. Just sharing. Sharing my thoughts. <laughs> what do you think about this statement? The quickest way to achieve financial freedom is with Bitcoin. Let's go and look at this a little bit. This is from a magazine called Bitcoin Magazine. Of course, it's Bitcoin Magazine, so they're going to big up Bitcoin. Upon realization of idea of liberty, it is immediately thrust into reality, never be forgotten by those having experienced it. I believe that the founding fathers of the United States inscribed the idea that liberty is inherent to life and in, in the Declaration of Independence. That's some bullshit. All right, we know this, right? While they made an astounding fir um, first step in declaring this, there has been since the uprising of technology, a necessity of this in monetary form. I believe that Bitcoin is a con codification of monetary liberty. Like the Declaration of Independence, Bitcoin was set into existence from the very moment it was realized. So you're going to read this, and they're talking about um, the, the freedom and liberty of Bitcoin. It's not that long of an article and how Bitcoin is... A step towards liberty because you are able to control your resources. You know what I'm saying? And, and and no outside government outside of pulling a goddamn gun on you can just come in and seize your shit. They can't seize your bank. This that's part of the issue with, with with Bitcoin. They just can't come in and just seize that shit. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to come literally take you and make you give them the passwords and shit. They got the you know what I'm saying? That I mean literally. You, you, they can't just seize your shit. When you got your money in the bank, they could just freeze. They can't freeze Bitcoin. That's part of the issue with Bitcoin because they lose a lot of control. Because when you're able to control a motherfucker's money, right, and you could freeze this shit. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I can't travel. I can't do nothing. But with Bitcoin, you could trade it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if there's other people in your circle that trade with Bitcoin, you're going to get you some quick cash. Or people who want Bitcoin... Get you some quick cash to keep it moving. And no, it's nobody's business who you spend it with. Powerful. Powerful powerful tool for liberty. A powerful tool for freedom. You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't want you here. Senator Ron Johnson is booted, is booed at Milwaukee's Juneteenth celebration. Now I'm just I highlighted this because I really don't want to read this. I heard about it. But we have to establish borders. And one of the ways that we do this is like, for example, there was somebody in the community here, not, maybe not working for the community, but somehow they found out how he voted on, on a certain issue. And they was able to voice that. They was able to voice that. And I'm saying, yeah, there are volunteer organizations that will do that shit. But I'm thinking that those positions, some of those positions we need to take care of. We need to reach into our pockets and make sure we got people say, hey, that dude right there voted on such and such. What? Stop playing. No, I'm not playing. Here's the facts. This ain't no damn rumor. Share that shit on Facebook or on, on social media. This is this. These are the facts. Talk about that. 
business. That's that's handling business. Now I want to read this. War was the backdrop of the West Asians, a Western canon. Come on now. I just want to start this off just a little bit. Y'all going to Jane takes on history. Jane Shaw Stroop explores history. West Asians. Look at them. In the war stands. That's how they do it. War was the backdrop of the Western canon. The nation, like much of the world, owes an enormous debt to ancient Greece and Rome. Bullshit. Give me a sound effect. Just wanting you keep your mind open, keep your mind open, keep stay alert. Many of our noblest ideas descended from thinking of Greek philosophers and Latin words and concepts pervade our language. The epic and lyric poetry of the ancients, their public rhetoric, their art, their musings, their values, and their histories have shaped the way we think and write and govern. That said, we tend to ignore an unpleasant fact that ancients were almost constantly at war. At least your ancients were. I'm talking about Western history. See, this is what I mean when I say that they have a, a habit of universalizing their shit. They say Western civilization and then they automatically throw this net over everybody. They said we tend to ignore an unpleasant fact that the ancients were constantly at war. This is your people. Yeah, you goddamn right, y'all constantly at war. You know what I'm saying? To a large extent, these societies were designed for war. They also rely heavily on slavery, but that topic is for another day. Now, y'all heard that, right? Just as words like stoicism and sophistry come from the Greeks, so do terms like Pyrrhic victory and Achilles' heel. A few examples of fighting Greeks and Persians fought on and off for 50 years, 499 B.C. to 449 B.C. Now, for them, this is far back. I want you to understand, that's ancient history for them. That's not, that's not ancient history for you. I'm just saying, that's not ancient history for you. There were societies that came up a long time before Greeks and Romans that were not based on, on war. Yeah, wars were fought, but they weren't just based on wars. War is a product of West Asians. Now, it's a human product, but shit, West Asians, West Asians forced everybody into having to be able to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take your shit. You going to what? I'm moving in. I like your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm like, 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 a, like, like that developmentally delayed bully. I like that. Like, what, what was homeboy's name? Tiny Lester on, um, Friday. Give me that chain. I want your shit. This has been a way. This has always been a way. And we have to understand their way so that we know how to deal with these motherfuckers. I'm just trying to let you know. Because they coming, they like your shit, they coming to take it. And if they can't beat you, they going to cheat you. I'm trying to let y'all know. You know, goddamn honor among thieves. Few examples. Greeks and Persians fought on and off for 50 years. 499 B.C. to 449 B.C. That is not ancient history. For you. Then two Greek polices, Sparta and Athens battled one another, first in a 15-year war from, 47, from 461 B.C. to 446 B.C., then the Great Peloponnesian War, which lasted from 431 B.C. to 404 B.C., 27 years. Rome and Carthage fought two lengthy Punic Wars, 264 to 241 218 to 201 BC. Now, we got to realize that Rome was trying to boss up on Carthage and decided they wanted Carthage shit. Y'all got some nice shit over there. Y'all got dates and oranges. Y'all got nice weather. 
We want your shit. Or we want a nice bite size of your profits. They tried to wash up on them. What the fuck was the Carthaginian supposed to do? Boss back up. Indeed, the Greek city-state in Rome got their start by militarily overcoming the territories around them. They bullied and took from everybody. So now, they she go to and she talk about Sparta, she talk about Athens, she talk about Rome. And her conclusion. We're going to go to her conclusion. Let me conclude by mentioning a small temple located near the Roman Forum. It was dedicated to Janus, the god of gates, but also of endings and beginnings. The reason January is named after him. The temple had two gates. When Rome was at war, they were open. When Rome was at peace, they were closed. During the entire history of the Republic, from 509 to 31 BC, they were closed only three times for a total of eight years. So, y'all ancients, so ancient West Asians fought a lot. This disturbs me, but I must ask a fundamental question. How does the constant belligerence compare with belligerence in the modern world? I, I Thank you. What's her name? Jane? Thank you, Jane. I, I, I dig your analysis. I, I dig what you're trying to do. But once again, you're falling into the trap of universalizing a group of people who are late comers on the scene of the world. Universalizing their shit. And we got to stop allowing these motherfuckers to universalize their shit around us, family. We need to let them know and put them... Put them in a child's place. Nigga, we ancient. I, that shit you talking about, no, that's, no. That's recent. You know what I'm saying? Because actually, actually, it's more time from the beginning of where we were to them coming on the scene than it is between us and Rome. Do y'all realize that? There's more time between the beginning of Kemet up to them than it is between them and us right now. That's how old your shit is. Right? We talk 5,000 BCE. Now, come on, family. You, that, and, let's, and, and, let's, and, and let's just look at this. I want y'all to think about this. So, if if Egyptian or comedic history starts when Menes or Nehmer formulate and create an upper and lower Kemet. Combining the two lands, it was something there before. You can't unite shit that didn't exist. So there was a history there. So when you listen to the, when you listen to people trying to break your shit down, you got to be very clear with them. What do you mean? How can you unite two lands if the two lands didn't exist before you united them? You don't really, you don't unite nothing. There was something there. Come on now, before if there was listen, you just don't rise and become the king of some shit that wasn't there. It had to be something there. Had to be something that was pulled together. So there was a longer history. Time to develop. But hey, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to stop. Y'all should know that type of stuff. Here go that Giami picture. Tribe up, family. Tribe up. You don't have a tribe. Y'all come join the family. You know what I'm saying? We're going camping. Y'all got another chance. We're going to give y'all another chance to come and get down with us. Um, Ohio taxpayer again footing the bill for grant projects aiding Amazon. Uh, Amazon needs your help, Ohio. Guess, I, guess, I guess Jeff don't got enough money. Motherfucker need he needs some spending cash when he goes up to space, so he's asking Ohio to help him. What the hell? What's what the hell? It's gonna help Jeff. Look, a US oil company cut nearly two thousand jobs and reaped two point one billion dollars in pandemic pandemic benefits. So they got to cut their workforce 
and they got money, which they probably put on their books to make it look like their stock was going up, which caused people to buy the stock, which caused their stock to go up, not knowing that the only reason that the stock went up was the fact that mm, 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 they cut 2,000 workers and they got an influx of money from the, the United States government, plus I think Marathon, because I'm kind of upset, because I only bought some marathon stock because the place where I buy my gas and buy my gas car through is was with them, but they sold Speedway. So they shows up on their books too. So they show I think they sold Speedway. And then on top of that, they got $2.1 billion from the government and they cut 2,000 workers, which also made them look a little bit more profitable, with which fluffed up their stock, which caused more people to buy in because they shit looked like it was going up and it looked like they was doing some brilliant shit when in fact they were scamming. I wonder what the penalty will be. Probably none. Side hustle, nine income streams, bring in 5,000 and this is the last one and I'm done. I'm gone. I just want y'all to see this. Cause I, I I I I sometimes I feel I feel like somebody that's just constantly screaming in the goddamn woods. I feel like I'm screaming in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Cause people don't understand me. People don't hear me. But I'm let me let me go and share this. Little girl right here. She says she make five to seven thousand dollars a month. Side hustlers. Nine income streams bring in five to seven thousand dollars a month. I don't like all my eggs in one basket. Shit, I would like to just have a basket. You know what I'm saying? I believe in putting all my eggs in one basket. Just watch the basket. Shit. All right. Well, here we go. Her name is Michelle Jackson. She was working a job. She got burnt out. Something happened. Blah 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 blah. She makes a steady amount from affiliate marketing. Didn't I just mention something about affiliate marketing with Giami Journey? Doing your own, you know, I, can sh I we can show you how to set up your own affiliate marketing network. So if you have a product, affiliate marketing one, she does freelance writing to build, a, build my brand. In addition to her blog, Jackson contributes freelance personal finance articles to sites like Experion and Business Insider. Why I like the revenue stream from the freelance, she says she likes the traffic to her blog and podcast even more. It's very deliberate to build my brand. Her monthly revenue from freelance writing varies. It's about 5000 per month, she says. That's enough. Proposing writing and editing articles to different uh, publications. Specification takes a lot of time and communication. I don't want to be dealing with with too many people, she says. Hmm. She's written 12 ebooks. In 12 in July 2018, Jackson dove into the world of writing and selling ebooks. Her first book was The Epic Guide to Moving to Colorado, and she's since written 11 other, both fiction and nonfiction. From July 2018 to February 2020, Jackson made um, almost 13000 in income from book sales. Okay. She sells. I make money with ebooks course. God damn, this shit sound familiar. You hold on. Having a master wealth of knowledge on the subject, Jackson sells a course called Make Money with Ebooks. On Think 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 a Fic. Think 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 a Fic, I think. Which enables teachers to build entire websites for their class. Make money with ebooks includes eleven chapters worth of content about finding the right niche. For an ebook, uploading it on a site like Amazon Marketing and so on, Jackson sells the course for $347. While the money she earns from the course is technically passive income as well, running the class does require offering office hours for students. It does take much, it does take up too much time though. It doesn't take up too much. Typically, I'm going to do one office hour a month, she says. Hmm. My income dropped initially, but staying the course was worth it. Y'all see that? Ebooks, e courses, affiliate market. I Do I need to say anything else? All right. All right. I ain't going to say nothing else. 
I'm just going to move on. I'm going to mind my business. All these articles available for you on GiamiJourney.media. You're going to look at them. Um, I, I apologize. I forgot to get the credit for those articles that I used. Um, but y'all can go back and y'all can see them and go to these sites. You know. And I'm quite sure Google or Amazon will pop up something that you want to buy or whatever. And, you know, you been, you know, they benefit and you benefit. But, yo, this is Brother Hatim. I want to thank you for joining me on the journey. And guess what? I'm out.